We're a small family farm in a microclimate right off of Lake Erie. The soil that we're on is all old lake bottom. So we have an amazing growing condition and environment. And these are all old heirloom varieties. And they pretty much come off with just barely touching yeah. them. It's an indication that it's ready. The varieties that commercial growers are growing today have higher yields and more tons per acre. And, and a lot of the old heirlooms, they don't yield as high. The flavors are amazing. It's addictive picking them. You just get picking and you don't <laughs> want to quit. We hear a lot about local. I'm going to tell you, I'm not a huge local proponent. If you've got a farmer in your backyard and you can get the quality and the food safe product, by all means, I support it, I applaud it. But the reality is farms are in rural areas and large metropolitan areas where we need to get our product to, a lot of times aren't within a 25 mile radius or a 50 mile radius of our farm. We ship as far as Mandarin Oriental Hong Kong. We ship to Las Vegas, to Walt Disney. Wherever we can find somebody that wants to support the small family farm, sustainable principles and practices, that's where we're gonna to ship to. So this time of year, when tomatoes are in full bloom and zucchinis and squash blossoms and basil, this is my go-to dish. Grilled cheese, zucchini bread, tomato, cinnamon soup, and opal basil. I think if I was eating grilled cheese with just tomato soup, like in a traditional way with the Velveeta and all that, pickles would probably liven that up a little. So we're gonna do a little pickle with the squash blossom. And plus, I figured if we were going to Chef's Garden, I wasn't gonna leave there without getting something really cool. These little guys are pretty darn cool. We've got coriander, fennel, allspice, and black pepper. I toast the spices a little bit and bring out the oils in them. Cider vinegar, probably three cups, four cups, roughly. Half a cup of sugar, a couple of tablespoons of salt, then we'll add our blossoms. You know, Lee kept saying today that they tested a whole bunch of different kinds for the best flavor. They never taste like anything to me. Whatever flavor you can get into them is going to make them interesting, so pickling is definitely a, a great way to go with that. Okay, turn off the heat. This is going to get messy here. Put them in the fridge to get them out of the way. And it's meant to be used fairly quickly. Okay, so next we're going to make our tomato soup. Honestly, people don't really even cook at home anymore. It's all fast food and chains. That's the only places people go around here anyhow. I thought about that a lot before I came home. And I know this sounds cheesy or whatever, but Elaine Ducasse would always tell his young chefs, you know, you come to Paris to learn to cook and then you go home to open your restaurant. I kind of latched onto that and made that my mantra, I guess. I'm not comparing Chicago to Paris, but you know, it's close. <laughs> You don't have to use heirloom tomatoes, you don't have to use yellow tomatoes, but since we we're at Chef's Garden and I got to pick, I picked yellow. Cut the tomatoes just into a large dice. Okay, we're gonna start with a good amount of olive oil here. Maybe a quarter cup. So we're gonna add our tomatoes. Oh, we could probably fit all those in. And cinnamon sticks to steep with the tomatoes. Okay, we just gotta wait for that to cook. I would like to say, Lats is the new PBR. We're converting all the hipsters. That is our mission. Okay, so now we're gonna do the grilled cheese. This is a little zucchini bread that I made the other night. You're gonna find this in just about 80% of the homes around here right about now. Cause zucchini's in season and we have these giant zucchini that people grow in their gardens and they have no idea what to do with them other than make zucchini bread. Here we have just a little fresh goat cheese or chev. Definitely has a nice sharpness to it. Great creaminess as well. Season it a little. We're just gonna get the bread toasted on both sides. And then we'll finish them in the oven for a few minutes. I had to steal this from the restaurant, like most of our meals here at home. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna remove the cinnamon sticks. Yeah, it's not bad. Need some salt. I've got one chip plate. Can we try not to film that one? Purple basil. We're just gonna tear it up and put it on top of soup as a little garnish. It's gonna really complement the cinnamon and the tomato flavor. Okay, you guys ready to eat this? 